Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yeah, I'm on the moon. <laughs> I have I gotta get that moon outfit. But first, remember these purple coins up here? This is how I'm gonna try to get them. <laughs> if at all possible, I'm gonna see if I can get a nice vantage point here and it looks pretty good. One, two, three! Yeah! 100% purple coin completion! And now that the game is beat, we can go ahead and buy out the shop. <laughs> oh. Well, there wasn't a shop here before, but now there is! It's right over here. Never hard to find a shop when you have these many logos. Don't worry, I'll take care of Space Dog later. Here we go, baby! Space helmets! Yes, absolutely. And change now to boots. Oh yeah! Space suit? Definitely. Oh yeah! Gotta put that on. And, you know, you gotta put the stickers on the, the our ship as well, just because they're here, you know, we're tourists as well. We gotta spend those purple coins somehow. And finally, we get an entire moon lamp. <laughs> and thus the purple coins have been cleaned out. Well, the shop has been cleaned out, well, as the purple coins as well. Happy days! I really need to recover my health, but... <laughs> so, back to the Lake Kingdom, I guess we go then. That seed should be sprouted by now. I hope. <laughs> so let's go ahead and plop on over. And also skip the cutscene, but there is something I'm probably going to splice in of me putting the moons into the Odyssey that I had from the Lake Kingdom, just because it's a nice place to plop them in there. It's anyway, Lake Kingdom, we have returned. And we have the spacesuits necessary for victory. Uh, here first for the seed, I guess. Uh, well, I, I, don't, I, I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I do first, because I'm going to be wearing the spacesuit the whole way through anyway. But it feels good to make things grow, especially when they are moons. Lake Gardening Spiky Passage Seed. Yeah, that was the seed that we got way, 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 way back at the beginning of the beginnings. <laughs> they were like when the, when the stairs are first out and whatnot. Yeah. Anyway, now we're gonna go flop on around here. And. Ooh, oh! Didn't do a dive. Oh, and my timing is horrible. There we go. <laughs> Our last suit. Here we go. Oh, yes, I am one of the fabulous style sisters. Inspire me with space clothes. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Everything about you screams space, and I can hear it. As thanks, take a moon power moon. They're out of this world. Har har har. Space is in right now. Yes, my loon line will definitely go boldly into space. So I think that's all uh, cleared out now. <laughs> I think I got everything in the... Yeah, Moon Kingdom. See that upper right corner? Yes! 100%! All the purples, all the moons. So satisfying. I even didn't have much trouble with the toxic waves of death. So this one pretty smooth. <laughs> Maybe it's the serene atmosphere putting me in the right state of mind. So Cloud Kingdom, because Peach went over there now, so here we go. Skipping that cutscene, but unfortunately we cannot skip the loading screen, at least not without some editing, but I don't know, it ruins my commentary flow, man. So, we battled Bowser and, you know, only Bowser before, but there's, there's other challenges to be had here now. Hmm? The moon rock here is glowing too! Let's be sure to check that! 
Okay, man, this place is bright at that angle. <laughs> and beautiful, we're here. We can get hints from the Hinto, but I don't think that'll be all that necessary. But since I came here for Peach, probably should go over there first. It's on the way. On. You didn't have to wave. I was right in front of your face. It feels amazing to be so high up. I feel like I could see forever. This place looks like a bell, the perfect spot for a nap. Note. Oh, Moon Power and Moon flew by earlier. You're collecting them, right? Mm -hmm. You know I'm collecting them. Peach in the Cloud Kingdom. Oh, and now with. And there is that uncharted island that no one knew about, right? Someone should chart it. Back to the Lost Kingdom later. Not now, though. <laughs> so, moons of a rock variety. Let's go. And one hat throw at a time. Prepare to explode moons everywhere! Well,. Not that many. This is a very small kingdom. It's sort of like the Ruined Kingdom in that regard, in that there's not that many moons and challenges and stuff like that. There aren't even any regional coins here, but... Uh, basically, the layout of this is that there's, I think, like, like six different paths, if you look at the map. And, okay, maybe four different paths, I don't know. <laughs> and basically, what you're supposed to do is uh, just kind of look around those paths and find your way to moons. And also, don't woo, don't fall to your doom. If you don't, ooh, if you don't mind. <laughs> Please, my, ooh, no, no, I didn't shake early enough there. Wait, actually, I can go like this now. Yeah, just skip that out. Grab that key, get a moon. I just want to see here, is that... Okay, yeah, the X transferred over there once I got that key. And carefully and precisely platform back. Yeah, this time I can't warp past the disappearing hat platforms this time like I did in the Cascade Kingdom. No, 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 this time they're making us go back. And as long as we're going through here... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> I jumped the gun there. I say, as long as they're going back through here on this very bright angle, might as well go flip flop around here. And we've seen this pipe a little bit earlier, so you might as well start from the. Perfect. <laughs> start from here because it's gonna look familiar. Remember, we were told that there is another one of these? Welcome back! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be ugly. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Picture match! Picture match! Put your best face forward! If you can match your best picture match, I'll give you a moon pie moon! Wanna give it a try? I'll try! I mean, I'll try. Alright, get on up there! Uh, I know how it works. I know. I gotta, you gotta put it back together. We know. We know. We were devastated trying to do this in the other kingdom. This is the easier version, though, I believe. But it's still pretty hard to, to visualize this whole thing, so... Better... well, this is the easy version of it too, so... <laughs> Alright. So, let's go ahead and start with the eyeballs, which were about... Here... I hope. <laughs> Flip flop around, because I, I... yeah, I think we were about... With, with that eyebrow like anger spots lies right there because I gotta go get the long eyebrow flip them around and then make them look all angry grrr grrr I say snarly teeth I hope that, oh I think that's actually too shallow of an angle now that I think about it too late now well I have another I have another chance at it when I do the second one here. Yeah, there's there's two of them here. There's about here, I think. Alright. I'm pretty sure I broke 60 points on that, regardless of my uh, inaccuracy there. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. 63. What? That's... It apparently was pretty bad. <laughs> I thought the max score is like a hundred. Hmm. Well, I mean, I passed, but 
<laughs> okay. Put your mask. Put your match. Basically a Goomba. Alright, I got another one here. Put your match. Put your match. I'm in all water. Get out of school. Get out of school. Get out of school. Yeah, this is all the same dialogue from before. That's why I'm not doing the, the no thanks dealio there. Oh, okay. So yeah, I definitely need to make the eyebrows steeper. I think I had the eyes about right. The mouth was a little low. The eyes are f uh, rotated in the correct direction. Actually, come to think, I may have put the eyes in the uh, like the opposite way they should have been because the eyes shine. Maybe that's how I got such a low score. Well, well, we have learned. <laughs> That's still a successful song. Because, yeah, there's this little shine on top of the eyeball, and it's gotta be towards the top, I think. Otherwise, then the eyebrow, eye, eyes are technically reversed. So, yeah. I'm gonna try and visualize where that eye was last. Please, Arceus, help me position this correctly. Uh, it was like, no, 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 a little more. A little less tilt. Oh, mm, eh, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this immediately above that eye because I remember what we need. To Wait, wasn't it actually partly off the. Yeah, it was partly off that, I think. I think. I hope I won't regret that move. <laughs> And wait, wait a second, we're gonna get this. We are gonna get this. Hopefully first try. And the moment of tooth. Let's put it in place. And the call it hopefully 80 points. Remember I gotta put it a little higher than I had it last time. Which looks pretty good there, I think. How'd I do, Toad? Mm, that looks pretty good. Yeah! Oh, feels good. Both on the first try. The first one was really janky, though. <laughs> Whatever. A pass is a pass. Picture match a stellar Goomba. You can go for a higher score if you'd like to. If you dare. No thank you. I am good right now. <laughs> and we go. I could see someone like putting pieces of tape on their TV screen to like try and get it as absolutely close as possible. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to risk messing up the LCD, so. <laughs> anyway. 8 bit time. It's a cube. I do believe there are two here. So let's get exploring, because there's one secret side, well, not technically secret, because there's six sides of a cube, obviously, but you know what I mean, that it's going to be something, well, I totally missed the bullet, and that I was going to be like a special path getting there, I, in fact, I, oh yeah, is this, yeah, I think there is a, it is a certain special path, it doesn't start here though, it's, I think it's like above up there, where that Koopa is, I think, uh, well, I'm just gonna kick this over there and cause a chain reaction. Okay, maybe it wasn't here, but well, I'll just let that shell do its thing, clearing out everything, and continue getting those shards. I can just do a fancy side jump there. I am an expert platformer. I, I say that very loosely. <laughs> okay, I think this was actually, yeah. It wasn't where the Koopa was, it was up over here. And the secret six side. I'm still in the middle of collecting moon shards, but details! If this is on my way, so I might as well. We gotta do the timestamps in the description as I put like the starting point for when I got in the area and the finishing point for when I actually got the moon, so yeah. The sixth face, see? See? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, yes, my memory is not that bad. Although, can you blame me? There's so many things, so many collectibles. This is kind of awkward because you're dealing with the Hammer Brother upside down and they're kind of tricky enough as is in just 2D segments, so. <laughs> Might want to be mindful of the hammers. 
But well, it's not it's not like Crazy Hammer Brother that was in original Mario NES. Those things shot so many hammers, they were ridiculous. Oh, this is an unlimited coin block. Oh, well, not unlimited. It's until it until it runs out. You know, I don't feel like getting those other. <laughs> Because I already broke the blocks below, which I shouldn't have done anyway. Alright, King of the Cube is completed. Uh, and now we go. Uh, I think I'm going to go this way. Because uh, there is another pathway. Uh, oh! Don't you miss. Don't you miss jump either. I just want to get down over here. See this little ground pound thingy? It goes up when you ground pound it for some reason. <laughs> Keep following that path. And you'll eventually reach what you're looking for, I think. Unless I was supposed to do something ahead of time, but I don't believe so. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough, I guess, together. It's a, it's a long path. Don't mess up because it's kind of kind of lengthy. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and don't miss this either. High, high above the clouds. Uh, did I go over to... Yeah, that was the key side. Good. Now, then we can go around to this side. Stop it. Stop it. And... Make another path. There's a lot of these cloud platforms in this place. I guess hence the name Cloud Kingdom. Ground pound again. Boop. Prepare to throw your hats on the way down. Well... And on the way up, <laughs> it's a little tricky, but you got a lot of, oh shoot, that was way too early, but you got a lot of time to do it. Okay, I got that. Can I get the rest on the way down? Oh, 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 lucky! Because that the hat got the last one on the way back. Woohoo! <laughs> Taking notes up and down. And now we got to get back. Hopefully safely. <laughs> and, and, oh, and, I said hopefully safely, but I <laughs> I wasn't touching the ground when I threw my hat and I just flew off the edge. Oh well, it poofs us back here. So I yeah, has another one over. Actually, no, I don't. Where's that pointing to? Uh, not. Uh, I feel a rumble, actually. Just clouds as far as the eye can see. It's kind of beautiful. Oh wait, are we supposed to be looking for something? Is that was that the trick? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna ground pound here. Nah. I do feel a rumble here though, so it might it might be somewhere here. I don't remember having to ground pound this particular one. There was one associated with a uh, art, like a you know a hint art. At some point, but uh, here I, the rumble is strong. <laughs> okay, there it is, right here. This spot. Don't don't go through it. I did. Just go here and ground pound. <laughs> Digging in the cloud. Uh, uh? Okay, so whoops, wrong button. We are complete. I didn't even have to buy any hints from the hint toad. Well, technically you never have to buy any hints from the hint toad, but, you know, I just kind of, kind of don't want to miss things as I go. <laughs> and I also don't want to take 20 years to actually finish things, so, yeah, because otherwise I'd have to, like, ground pound every section and every last tiny bit of every spot of ground probably <laughs> like that pillar underwater on the other one that didn't really have an indication yeah yeah anyway lost kingdom because that's where peach is heading next or so she claims well actually there it's not as linear as i thought it was actually um based on i i heard her going back at bowser's castle you know, by the shop over there, so maybe I don't have to follow her like <laughs> like I said, but, well, I might as well just keep going with it, because I'm going to 100% all these worlds one way or another anyway, hmm?
Moonrock here is glowing too. Let's be sure to check that. Okay. So let's go ahead and unlock the moon block. It's glowing. You can't miss it. It's got a beacon and everything. <laughs> well, that's right. You can't can't directly go through there. Yes, I will still play the Luigi mini games later on. It'd be like a bonus dealio of like all sorts of extras and whatnot. There's so much to this game. And... I think this will, this will be like the f one of the few parts I'll be doing two, like unlocking two moon blocks in the same part. The other one would be in the ruined kingdom because it's so small and I'll end up going over to another kingdom or I'll end up um, getting the moon block from the previous kingdom and then yeah. Alright! With those bad boys unlocked, I think it's a good time to end off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I hopefully am able to 100% the Lost Kingdom.